Published, 4.13 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 3rd of April 2018. Updated, 6.39 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 3rd of April 2018. Labor has been handed a dossier of anti-Semitic complaints relating to five more of its council candidates. It emerged today. The party's compliance unit, which is responsible for ensuring members and candidates follow labor rules, was handed the dossier by the Labor Against Anti-Semitism campaign group. It follows a series of reports about other council candidates who have been suspended by Labour ahead of the elections on May 3rd. Labour yesterday suspended Roy Smart as a candidate in Tunbridge Wells over a series of vile Facebook posts questioning the Holocaust. In other developments today, the head of Momentum John Landsman admitted the problem of anti-Semitism inside Labour was worse than both he and Jeremy Corbyn had realised. It comes as Labour's new General Secretary Jenny Formby has written to party members vowing to crack down on anti-Semitism. The head of Momentum John Landsman, pictured today in London, admitted today the problem of anti-Semitism inside Labour was worse than both he and Jeremy Corbyn had realised Mr Corbyn, pictured today leaving home in London, faces further criticism today after he attended a Seder hosted by a far-left Jewish group which has called for the destruction of Israel Mr Landsman, who is Jewish, said the explosion of the racism row and seen a marked rise in unconscious bias against Jews in his social media feeds. He called for widespread training and labor to fight off low-level anti-Semitism in rigorous investigation to tackle serious cases. Jenny Formby, pictured with Jeremy Corbyn, has written to labor members on her first day in the job to say the party will get on with tackling the abuse labor's new general secretary has vowed to eradicate the stain of anti-Semitism in the party. Jenny Formby has written to Labour members on her first day in the job to say the party will get on with introducing the recommendations of Shami Chakrabarty's report into anti-Semitism. Labour has faced heavy criticism for failing to act on the report. And a leaked email from the outgoing General Secretary Ian McNichol said Jeremy Corbyn's office had been to blame for the delay. In her email today, Ms Formby, a close ally of Mr Corbyn, said, This week I will be moving to ensure the full implementation of the Chakrabarthi report and introducing new procedures to deal with complaints in disciplinary cases. The stain of anti-Semitic attitudes must be completely eradicated within the Labour Party. We are the party for people of all races and faiths, the party of full equality for all, or we are nothing. Likewise, I will tackle any manifestation of misogyny, bullying or abuse of anyone. As Jeremy Corbyn has pledged, Mr Corbyn faces further criticism today after he attended a Seder hosted by a far-left Jewish group which has called for the destruction of Israel. Mr Landsman told the BBC Radio 4 Today program, Jeremy is a lifelong anti-racist and I think it came as something of a shock to him to be described as being some kind of racist, of harboring people with anti-Semitic views in the party that he now leads. I think Jeremy's awareness has grown, as it has for all of us. It's not that there is a widespread problem with Holocaust denial, but there is a widespread unconscious bias, the longer that the debate has gone on, the more I have noticed on my Facebook feed are people who dismiss anti-Semitism as an issue in a way that you would not dismiss Islamophobia as an issue. We need a widespread program of education and training within the Labour Party to help people recognize the dangers of certain words and language that can be sensitive. Mr Landsman said words such as Zionism held different meanings to different people and that there was insufficient understanding across the party. He said, everybody in the party, including those in charge of investigations, needed to be aware of the issues. The new dossier of claims against Labour candidates, revealed by BuzzFeed, named candidates in Newcastle, London, Lancashire and Suffolk. Overall it contains 150 separate complaints. Labour MP Wes Streeting told the site, the volume as well as the content is appalling. Since Jeremy Corbyn issued his statement acknowledging the problem and promising a militant fight back many of his supporters haven't got the message, abusing Labour MPs who have had the courage to call it out. We need more decisive action from the Labour Party and the NEC, Roy Smart, a candidate in Tunbridge Wells, appeared to share links on social media to a site in 2015 calling itself a Holocaust programming course. One of Mr. Smart's Facebook posts linked to a Holocaust programming course and said it should not be illegal to question whether it happened in another post. Mr. Smart claimed closing down debate on whether the Holocaust happened was about power and control. Ewan Phillips, spokesperson for Labour Against Anti-Semitism, told BuzzFeed, this is a polite. The councillors and candidates on this list have proven recent histories of anti-Semitism and should have been expelled. Indeed, many have previously been reported by Labour Against Anti-Semitism the Labour's compliance unit. Instead, they have not only been readmitted to the party but allowed to stand as Labour candidates and then sit as Labour councillors.
It is a tacit endorsement by the Labour Party of a level of racial hatred not seen since the 1930s, a Labour Party spokesman said, the Labour Party is committed to challenging and campaigning against anti-Semitism in all its forms, all complaints of anti-Semitism are taken extremely seriously. These are fully investigated in line with our rules and procedures and any appropriate disciplinary action is taken. We do not comment on individual cases, Ms. Formby, a close ally of Mr. Corbyn, has today emailed party members to vow to crack down on the abuse. She said, this week I will be moving to ensure the full implementation of the Chakrabarthi report and introducing new procedures to deal with complaints in disciplinary cases, the stain of anti-Semitic attitudes must be completely eradicated within the Labour Party. We are the party for people of all races and faiths, the party of full equality for all, or we are nothing. Likewise, I will tackle any manifestation of misogyny, bullying or abuse of anyone, as Jeremy Corbyn has pledged. Labour has faced heavy criticism for failing to act on the report. Mr Smart, a candidate in Tunbridge Wells, was suspended yesterday after he appeared to share a series of vile links on social media to a site in 2015 calling itself a Holocaust deprogramming course. Another post from September 2017 said, People being allowed to question if the Holocaust happened is not the same as being a Holocaust denier. Mr Smart will be replaced on the ballot paper by another Labour candidate for the May 3rd elections, confirming Mr Smart's suspension. A Labour spoke spokeswoman said, Labour takes all complaints of anti-Semitism extremely seriously, which are fully investigated and appropriate disciplinary action taken in line with our rules and procedures, anti-Semitism has absolutely no place in the party and we are committed to challenging and campaigning against it, in all its forms, the new developments came as a shadow minister said Labour should resist calls to instantly expel anyone accused of anti-Semitism and deal with it in its own way, Stephen Pound vowed his party would clean up the allegations and admitted there was a real problem that would cost the party vote but he insisted the allegations were being used to attack Jeremy Corbyn's leadership of Labour and said the party should resist calls to immediately sling out members based on any allegation without following party processes. Accusations of anti-Semitism are being used by some people as a means to attack Jeremy Corbyn. Veteran Labour Shadow Minister Stephen Pound claimed last night Mr Corbyn has been repeatedly accused of failing to deal with anti-Semitism. His close ally Ken Livingstone has been suspended for more than a year without a resolution over his Hitler rants, Mr. Pound said Labour had to make it absolutely clear that our proud record on being an inclusive party does extend to every single person in this country, but he told the BBC Westminster Hour on Sunday night, the minute somebody outside the party says, you the leader need to expel that person, then Hang on a second, we will deal with this our way and if we have a problem with dealing with the Jewish community then that is our problem, we will not have people screaming from the outside saying, sling this person out, chuck that person out, we will take care of this. We will clean up this mess because we are the Labour Party, we are not an anti-Semitic party, we are not a racist party. We are a party for everyone, the party has moved to distance itself from a series of pro-Corbyn social media groups after an investigation by the Sunday Times found they contained hundreds of violent and abusive messages. Jewish Labour MP Luciana Berger and BBC political editor Laura Kunzberg were among individuals targeted by hate-filled posts. Jewish Labour MP Luciana Berger, right, and BBC political editor Laura Kunzberg, left, were among individuals targeted by hate-filled posts in pro-Corbyn social media groups Jewish. Groups called a protest on Parliament Square last week, pictured to demand the Labour leader acts on anti-Semitism in his party Mr Pound's comments came as frontbench colleague Liam Byrne warned there was real alarm at the scale of the problem within the party. Jeremy Corbyn defended an artist who painted an anti-Semitic mural in 2012, questioning why the offensive art should be removed There was a member of a Facebook group which was awash with anti-Semitic rhetoric, and he has described anti-Semitic groups such as Hamas and Hezbollah as our Friends of Labour leader stood by when a speaker disrupted the launch of his party's anti-Semitism policy by accusing a Jewish MP of colluding with the press. Labour has still failed to expel former London Mayor Ken Livingstone, two years after he claimed Hitler was a Zionist. He has still not apologized. Delegates at last year's Labour conference complained of a witch hunt against anti-Semitism and heard from a speaker who said it was legitimate to question the Holocaust. The problem is so rife in the party the Jewish Labour movement has had to hold training sessions for party members on how not to be anti-Semitic. Labour members and councillors have shared disgusting messages and images on Facebook. 
describing Jewish people of controlling world capitalism and being to blame for the policies of the Israeli government. The party is failing to deal with a huge backlog of complaints and has failed to expel people even though they have committed offenses such as referring to Jewish people as Yids Corbin L. I. Len McCluskey, the Unite General Secretary, has dismissed anti-Semitism clams as mood music spread by Blairites. Labour's new General Secretary Jenny Formby was accused of recruiting a party member suspended for saying Hitler was a Zionist god. Labour grandee Lord Treisman, a former General Secretary of the party, warned today a failure to act on anti-Semitism would have a 1930s outcome. Mr Pound told the program, My point is the Labour Party is not the enemy of Judaism, I think the Labour Party without a doubt has a problem, but on the other hand there are some people who are riding that horse to attack Jeremy Corbyn anyway, asked whether Mr Corbyn's opponents were using anti-Semitism as a stick to beat the Labour leader, the Ealing North MP said, a small number of them are, and unfortunately in the world of social media nowadays a small number of people can get a huge amount of attention, Mr. Pound added, I think it's my duty as a Labour member of Parliament to actually reach out to these people who are hurting, I'm not going to rest until the Labour Party has rebuilt those bridges because we are not anti-Semitic, he said the row would, inevitably, cost Labour votes in areas such as the North London Borough of Barnet, where there is a large Jewish population, yes of course it can, but Barnet is one borough, he said, inevitably, of course it will, but the real story behind these local government elections is Conservative-led Northampton County Council, which has gone bankrupt, Lord Treisman, who ran Labour HQ under Tony Blair, told the Times, I don't care who's the Prime Minister or leader of the opposition, if you can't face up to these things, you have a 1930s outcome. The truth is that we need to be alert to the early signs, and we need to deal with them really, really hard when they emerge. The dictatorship in Europe were never of such significance that we ought to bother ourselves with them, until they became too big to handle and then they were of such significance we couldn't deal with them. These are historic mistakes which don't have to be repeated, Labour grandee Lord Treisman, file image, a former Labour general secretary, warned today a failure to act on anti-Semitism would have a 1930s outcome. Mr Corbyn yesterday deleted his personal Facebook account, prompting claims he was trying to distance himself from abuse on the network X Commons speaker Lord Martin called for a special one-day conference of members to address the problem and demonstrate the party's abhorrence of anti-Semitism. The former Labour MP told The Guardian, if you ran a restaurant, and it was dirty and there were cockroaches, you wouldn't get away with saying, the restaurant down the road is dirty and has cockroaches too, you would be expected to sort out the problem, as the row continued, Shadow Minister Liam Byrne warned there was real alarm, at the scale of the problem within Labora Probe into 20 of the biggest pro-Corbin Facebook groups uncovered routine attacks on Jewish people, including Holocaust denial and comparisons between Israel and Nazi Germany. Mr. Corbin yesterday deleted his personal Facebook account, prompting claims he was trying to distance himself from abuse on the network. Labour said the move was long planned to make his official account easier to manage. The Sunday Times reported that 12 senior staff working for Mr Corbyn and Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell were members of the groups which contained more than 2,000 racist, anti-Semitic, misogynistic, violent and abusive messages. They were found on the 20 largest pro-Corbyn Facebook groups, which have a combined membership of 400,000, a Labour Party spokesman said on Sunday, these groups are not run by the Labour Party or officially connected to the party in any way, the Labour Party is committed to challenging and campaigning against anti-Semitism in all its forms. Any complaints of anti-Semitism are taken extremely seriously. These are fully investigated in line with our rules and procedures and any appropriate disciplinary action taken by Jason Groves and Claire Elliott for the Daily Mail. Numerous public figures have been the target of vile anti-Semitic and more general abuse hosted by pro-Corbin Facebook groups. Below are just some of the examples, with the page they are taken from. Luciana Berger, Labour MP for Liverpool Wavertree Luciana Berger, Labour MP for Liverpool Wavertree She is a vile Zionist, Jeremy Corbyn True Socialism J rid of this cancer, Jeremy Corbyn True Socialism She is one of those creating a crisis within Labour by false accusations about anti-Semitism We support Jeremy Corbyn Deselect the C asterisk 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 Supporting Jeremy Corbyn Utter cow, let's help make Jeremy Corbyn Prime Minister